engineers solving problems. All right, guys, we are going to do a new circuit. We're going to create a new circuit. And today I'm going to show you the basics of circuits in, um, in Tinkercad. So in the video that you watched yesterday, they went to all and there was a light bulb right here. And you could use the light bulb to make series and parallel circuits. Today, we're going to do things a little bit more complicated, though. We're not going to use a light bulb. We're going to use a coin cell battery, which is three volts. And we're going to see how many lights we can light up in series. Um, we're going to take a resistor that resists current flow. This is uh, standard uh, default is one kilo ohm. Take the positive end of the battery and we connect it to the resistor. Then we'll connect the wire to this bulb and see if it'll light up. You can start simulation. You can see that the bulb lights up. Now, I don't know how many of these you can put in a row, but if we take and rotate this, move it over some, and take this wire and move it over a little bit. To make a series circuit, you could put another bulb. Got to go find the bulb. Then we're going to rotate it, hitting R. You can rotate hitting the R key on your keyboard. So a series would look like this. You would have two bulbs. Notice that there's only one path for the electrons to flow in. And that's just like this. One path looks like a circle. We start simulation and the bulbs light up. Let's put one more just for fun. Then we'll switch to LED. So rotate. Connect the terminals. There's no polarity to these light bulbs. They'll work in either direction. You start simulation. So it lights up three bulbs. In real life, that shouldn't work. All right, so now we're going to go to probably one of my favorite components, LEDs. So if you're in basic components, an LED is this one right here. And instead of rotating this one, what we're going to do is we're going to flip it so that we turn the anode in this direction. Then we're going to make our series circuit. So we know that with one, the LED should light up. You could make this zero ohms, just putting a zero in there. Then you can blow the LED up because there's too much current for the LED. Alrighty, so we're going to put this back to one kilo ohm and just leave it default there. Mostly what we use in class is one kilo ohm. So let's take another one and flip it. Let's go two LEDs in a row and see if we can get two in a series to light up. All right, they're not as bright. Let's do this one more time. Let's take one more LED and flip it and make a connection here. Still a series, one path for the, the current to flow through. And you notice something, the LEDs don't light up. Well, there's a special thing. These LEDs take a certain number of voltage. If you put them in series, this should take about four and a half volts to try to light it. This only gives three. So that is one of the limitations of a series circuit is these add up and it takes a certain amount of force to be able to turn them on. Now, if we were to switch this to a parallel circuit by rotating and rotating and rotating, now we're going to make a different branch for each one. So there's the first one. And I'm not being neat about this, just showing you each of the branches. So now we should be able to make three LEDs light up with this one battery that wouldn't do it in the series. So this is a parallel circuit. And notice now all three LEDs are lit from, from this one power source. So the path that the voltage takes goes one, two, and three. So it lights all three up. So just to reiterate to you guys, if you want to rotate it, you use the R button. And you can sit there and rotate it to however you want it placed in your, on your board. 
And then you can use the flip key, F, to flip it over this way. So that way you can place things on this circuit just like you want them. All right, so there are easier ways to build these circuits. You'll learn that later. But what I want you to do is to try to make different circuits with different batteries, different LEDs. Maybe if you want to try out a push button or a slide switch, it is possible. And uh, I have not used these recently, so I'm not sure if I can make it work or not. So let's find out. Let's go to all components and I'll use this nice big light bulb to demonstrate a switch. So terminal 1A and 1B are connected internally. Terminal 2A and 2B are connected internally. This button connects both of these terminal, terminals inside. So let's go positive to this one and then go to our light bulb. And then let's go negative here and we'll scoot around to the negative. When you start simulation, notice there's no voltage running, but when you push the switch, the light comes on. So that may be something for you guys to try out today. So go inside of Tinkercad and experiment and see what you can make in the canvas of Tinkercad in the electronics portion, the circuit section. So to take you up here, we can name this our circuit, although I've deleted it. And then you can give it a name so you can find it later when it's time to turn things in. And here's where you can do your old circuits. And you can see some of them that I've built in the last while. So if we click on this and click Tinker This, let's go see what this does if we hit the uh, Simulate button. Uh, whoo, there we go. Simulate. Explosions all over. So I don't know what um, the point of that circuit was. Another circuit that we might could look at is, this says second period, so I wonder what that is. These are some lessons that we did. Boom, explosion. So, okay, there we go. That was enough fun. All right, guys, so take to Tinkercad, experiment. This is what we're going to be in for the next few weeks is Tinkercad, um, upwards of a month of learning how to use it and then moving to programming in Tinkercad, which we do have the ability to program using this Arduino. And there's nowhere to put it, but the Arduino is programmable and we can do more with that. And that'll be another couple of weeks that we'll learn programming and make different circuits. So you have a great day. See you in class.